We're on lesson 15-5, which is using me or measuring angles and adding and subtracting them. So we've already done just like always the guided practice in class. So we're gonna head on to our independent practice. So for number four through seven, use the diagrams to the right. Write and solve an addition or subtraction equation. So remember equation means it needs to have that equal sign to find the missing angle measures. Well, some things we need to remember before we begin is 180 degrees equals a straight line, and 90 degrees equals a right angle. So either one of those are going to be my two key things I need to use. So here you have, what's the measure of angle F, G, J, if J, G, H, so let's put that in a different color, J, G, H, is 22. Well, I know that this is a right angle, so I have 90 take away that 22 piece. Well, what am I left with? 90 take away 22 is 68 degrees. So my equation is 90 minus 22 equals 68 degrees. What is the measure of angle KGF? So let's erase what we have here. What is the measure of angle K? G, F, if E, so let's switch to a different color, E, G, K, oops, E, G, K, so this angle right here is equal to 59 degrees. Well, what do I have again? Well, what I have is 90 degrees, and what am I doing with that? Well, I'm taking away 59 degrees. So let's check. Does that make sense? So what would I be left with? I'd be left with 31 degrees. So let's head on to our next one. I'm going to make this just a little bit darker. There we go. So use the angle measures you know to write an equation to find the angle measure of this other mystery angle. E, G, H. What kind of angle is EGH? Well, what I already know is I know that this measure of angle right here is 90 degrees. So I have one measure is 90 degrees plus, what's my other measure going to be? Well, I know that this was 31 degrees. But let's actually take it back a step and we're going to add all of these other pieces together. So we're going to add this angle, which is 31 degrees. Oops, I misspoke that. That was not our 31 degrees. This angle we know is our 59 degrees. Plus, this angle right here, we just found out was 31 degrees. Plus, this angle right here, we found out was 68 degrees. Plus, we already know this angle was 22 degrees. So when I add all those up, what is it that I'm going to get? I'm going to get 180 degrees. And what do I know about that? 180 degrees is a straight angle. So now number seven, I'm going to erase all my work here. Number seven says, which two non-overlapping angles that share a ray make an obtuse angle? Use addition to solve. So I want my angles that do not overlap. So here's going to be one angle. They need to share what? They need to share a ray. So we have K, G, F. There's one angle. And then we have F. So let's switch to a different color. F, G, and then we could go to almost any of these because they're going to equal a number bigger. So here I just chose FGF. So what are my two angles? Well, we have angle KGF and angle FGJ. And what does it say? It says use addition to explain. Well, here we have 31 degrees because remember this was 31 plus what was this one? Well, that was 60. Oops. That was 68 degrees. 
So if we add those together, what do we get? Well, we get 99 degrees, which is bigger than 90, so that makes an obtuse angle. Heading on to our next page. Shane says that a straight angle is 180 degrees. Is Shane correct? Well, let's think about that. Here is a straight line, and I can break a straight line up by making this perpendicular. So I have a corner angle and a corner angle, which is 90 degrees and 90 degrees. And I can check that with a piece of paper and see that line straight up. So I'm going to say yes, his aunt, he is correct. A straight angle can be drawn as two right angles. I'm going to switch on over to this side. That share a ray. The measure of each right angle is what? Well, we know it's 90 degrees because it's that corner piece of paper. And then what do I know? Well, I know that 90 plus 90 equals 180 degrees. Heading off to number nine. Tala earns 85 cents for each can that she recycles. She gets an, or earns 85 cents for cans she recycles. So she gets a nickel for each can. How many cans does Tala recycle? So here I'm going from something large to something small and equal groups. So what is that? That is division. So let's draw a bar diagram to represent how to solve the problem. Well, here, I'm going to start with my large item, which is 85 cents. And 85 cents is my total. So that's the total earned. And what is it that I'm looking for? Well, I'm looking for 5 cents. So that's my little 5 with that C line. And I'm looking for what? I'm looking for my total cans. So I'm looking for this mystery C. What does this C equal? How many cans did I get? Well, I need to break it up into these equal parts. But I don't know how many equal parts I'm breaking it up into. I know that they're all equal to 5 cents, but I don't know how many equal can or how many cans I'm getting. So let's now do our division. We have 85 divided by 5. 5 goes into 8 one time. Multiply, subtract. 3 is less than 5, so I can bring down. 5 goes into 35 seven times. Multiply, subtract, check. 0 is less than 5. So my answer is 17. She collected 17 cans. So number 10, it says, Alex draws an angle that measures 110 degrees. He then draws a ray that divides it into two equal parts. What is the measure of each smaller angle? Well, we have 110 degrees, and then we have two equal parts. So what is that? So I'm breaking up into two equal groups. So that's 110 broken up into two equal parts. So 2 goes into 11 five times. Multiply, subtract. Check, 1 is less, so bring down. Multiply, after I divide, goes in. Check, so what's the measure of each angle? It's 55 degrees. Heading off to number 6, or number 11. Six angles share a vertex. So a six angles share a corner. Each of the angles has the same measure. The sum of the measure of the angles is 330. What is the measure of the angles? Well, what we have here with the tape diagram is I have this hole, which is 330. It's telling me I'm broken up into six parts. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So what is that? I'm going from something large to small equal groups. So that is division. Whenever I go from something large to small equal groups. Six goes into 35 times, multiply, Subtract, check, bring down. 6 goes into 35 times. Multiply, subtract, and check. What is my answer? 55 degrees. So the measure of one angle is 55 degrees, which matches our answer from that previous problem. Number 12. Lee uses pattern blocks to make a design. He puts five pattern blocks together as shown in the figure. The measure of angle L 
to j to k is 30 degrees, which makes sense when we use pattern blocks earlier. Name all the 60 degree angles shown that have a point j as a vertex. So I'm looking for all my angles that have a point j as a vertex. So that means it needs to be two pattern blocks. So here is one because that's 30 plus 30. So what is that? That's angle K, J, M. So what other groups of two can we get? Well, we can start at L, go to J, and go to N. So angle L, J, N. What other groups of two can I make? Well, now I can start at M, my next one over. Go M, J, O. So angle M, J, O. And can I make any other groups? Yes, I can make one more. So I can start my next one over, which is N, go to J, and then go to P. So angle N, J, P is my last one. All right, our very last problem, number 13. Carla drew two acute, so two small, non-overlapping angles that share a ray and labeled them J, L, K, and K, L, M. The two angles have different measures. Carla says angle J, L, M is greater than a right angle. So is it possible for Carla to be correct? Well, let's see. Can we make it so two acute angles are bigger than a right angle? Well, here, let's say we have an angle like this, and then we have another acute angle like this. Each one is less than 90 degrees, but together they're going to be bigger than 90 degrees. So an example could be, what is this? We could say this was 50 degrees, and this was 60 degrees. So yes, it is possible for her to be correct. And how am I going to state this? If the sum of the two angles, oops, and remember they need to be acute, so let me add that word right in there. If the sum of the two acute angles is greater than 90 degrees, she is correct. And let me just give that example, and my problem is 60 degrees plus 50 degrees equals 110 degrees. And part B is my next part. Ryan equations show you one possible sum. So here we have the same thing we just put up there is 60 degrees plus 50 degrees equals 110 degrees.